This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Today is Thursday, June 11th, 2020. We're going to begin, uh, unusually for this series, with Scripture. This is the 28th chapter of the Gospel of Matthew, verses 18 to 20. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. So let's talk for a couple minutes about why that verse, those verses are hard. There's an emphasis in much of Christianity on the necessity of conversion for salvation. You must accept Jesus into your heart to be saved, and that great, that great commission, as it's called, means that we're going to go out and convert you so that you can be saved. For those of us who have been on the side of, uh, of the converted rather than the converters, uh, that can be a very painful process and a really hard one. We're told that you must accept Jesus into your heart, and we're not quite sure about that. And theologically, this comes from an understanding that faith is primarily personal, that a life of faith, that religion is defined by the relationship between the individual and the divine. There's also, separately and relatedly, a a long and ugly history of the Great Commission, go and make disciples of all the nations, being used to justify colonialism and genocide. And whether or not they were motivated by faith or avarice, and and remember from last week, motivation is often less important than impact, missionaries have often done tremendous harm in the world. And for us, there's often a more recent cultural connection as well. To share the good news, to spread the faith, makes one evangelical a word with complex connotations for a lot of Unitarian Universalists, to put it mildly. But is that the only story we can tell? The first distinction that I would make is that our faith is collective. Unitarian Universalists are always Unitarian Universalists in community if we're practicing what we preach. Our our tradition does not teach that salvation comes from a personal relationship with the divine. Maybe that exists, but the important pieces of what we teach are how we live now with each other, how we are interconnected. So for us, this whole conversation isn't about saving souls, but about drawing an ever wider circle of welcome. But this historical question of missionaries is an important one. How do we know that we aren't replicating the spiritual patronization that has so often been inseparable from evangelism? And that's an ongoing and really difficult question for Unitarian Universalists because it's one that, if we're honest, we haven't always been great at, right? There's a, there's a sense in our communities that we've found the right way of doing religion. A kind of moral superiority that centers our experience and our way of doing church over any alternative. This is the enlightened faith. But that's not at our best. That's not us at our best. At our best, Unitarian Universalism changes. As we draw the circle wider, each generation evolves. We add new sources, 
we add new practices, we add new understandings of what it means to be a faithful Unitarian Universalism. And so we grow not just to add more Unitarian Universalists exactly like us, but to make the tapestry of our communities and our faith richer and more varied. Because we say individuals have inherent worth and dignity, each individual search for truth and meaning, however different from our own, is meaningful to the searcher. And if, when, if we are in community, then we are interconnected, and that meaning enriches our own. This is hard work. There's a lot of baggage around sharing and proclaiming our faith. But if we are ultimately about transformation, if that is the vision of our community, then it's baggage that we have to pick up. We'll wrap up this topic tomorrow by talking about transformation, by going back to that topic we started with. Until then, it's Thursday, which means that tonight is worship at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. In your e-blasts, you'll have a link to our Thursday night Vesper service. And I do want to say this week, um, normally we have an end-of-year slideshow that we show on the last Sunday of our congregational year. And we're going to show that tonight at the Zoom service. So it'll be a chance to come and reflect on the year that's been in the community that we've built together in all of its richness and variety um, and beauty. I hope to see you there. And if not, I will see you on this channel tomorrow. Have a great night.